Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I had a subscriber ask a question yesterday in one of yesterday's videos of, is reverse dieting pointless? Now, to understand where I'm coming from with this, you're going to need to probably see the original video so you understand what I'm talking about with metabolism and weight loss. It's a much longer, more informative video. I will link it here in the annotations and down below. All right, so is reverse dieting pointless? No, reverse dieting is not pointless because prep coaches need to make money. These are people who have jobs, they need to make a living, and generally they have clients with large amounts of disposable income. There's a lot of basically well-kept housewives and things who do bikini competition and things like that. They've got decently well-off husbands, they have disposable income. Prep coaches need money. They have bills to pay. So reverse dieting is not pointless at all. What it does is it allows these coaches to extend out their coaching services to after a competition to continue to make money so that they can pay their bills. So yeah, it has an absolute point. Prep coaches have bills to pay. They can pay those bills as a result of reverse dieting based upon people who have disposable income that they don't really need. Now, outside of that, there's some psychological components, but the thing is, in a way, it depends on if the coach is trying to help someone psychologically or they're going to prey on the fact that most people who in physique competition, people who tend to get into that sort of thing, they tend to have body image disorders anyways. They're going to panic if they regain weight quickly, even if it's just water weight. So by reverse dieting, it can cut their anxiety down by letting them spend more time returning to their normal body weight. But the thing is, as far as slowly bringing metabolism back up, it actually slows down how fast your metabolism comes back up. What you need to understand is that from uh, extreme dieting, very, very little of your <laughs> metabolic shift is due to hormones. And even then, the faster you bring your food up, the faster that will reverse. Most of the shift in metabolic rate is due to the weight loss itself. Not just the fat, but the muscle and even the water weight and the uh, intramuscular glycogen. So the faster you bring those back up, the faster you'll return to your old metabolic rate. I mean, if you've lost 20 pounds or 30 pounds, you're not going to go back to your original metabolic rate until you regain those 20 or 30 pounds. So if you're reverse dieting, that's going to come back slower. If you take two weeks to regain the 20 pounds or three weeks to regain the 20 pounds, that will probably put you right back at your initial uh, starting metabolic rate because that's all it will take for most of the hormones to reverse. That will put all the weight back on you. You'll be done. However, if someone spreads it over three months or four months, it's going to take three or four months to get back to your original metabolic rate. The only issue there is that a lot of people be, who tend to do these sort of uh, competitions tend to be very obsessive about their physique. They get very upset. It shifts in, in weight or loss of definition. So what's going to happen is when they regain all that water they lost, they lose a lot of their cuts. Because a lot of what's done in these competitions is gradual water loss, not just fat loss. And that's a large part of the shifts in uh, definition for many of these physique competitors. And so if they regain the water quickly, a lot of them tend to panic and it causes anxiety. So it can reduce the anxiety level for them to reverse diet. But it's again, it's done under false pretenses. These coaches are telling them it's for metabolic reasons when it's not. It's for psychological reasons to keep them from freaking out. But they could also spend that same money seeing a therapist over the anxiety for it um, also. So they would have different options. They don't have to reverse diet to deal with the anxiety. They could just get a therapist. Because again, people who will have anxiety as a result of that water gain, it's again, you're dealing with a body image issue that's probably better addressed by a therapist than a um, prep coach. But that's just my opinion. All right, guys, but well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.